Hello and welcome. I am Matt Taylor. Today I have another video tutorial for you. I want to show you how to use Preview, which is a free app that comes with your Mac, and how to use that to edit photos. It's a very powerful tool. So let's head on over to the computer and show you what it can do. Here we are over on my Mac. So let's say, first of all, let's say we have a, a page, some kind of website page or something on our screen and uh, we want to take a, a screenshot of it, but we only want to do a certain part. So what you can do on your Mac is do Command Shift 4, and then it makes these little crosshairs. And then let's say I just wanted to get this part of this site. You just drag it like that, it makes a sound. And there you go. So let me get rid of this. And then it'll put that image on your desktop. I put it on my other screen. So let me drag it over here. So here it is. And now this could be just a normal image too. It could be a photo. For this example, I'm just showing you how you could have taken a screenshot first. So this is our JPEG, right? Now we're gonna open this with preview. Right click, open with preview. And I have this set to default, so you can just double click it and it'll open in preview as well. And here we go. Here's that screenshot that I took. Here's my photo. So now what we wanna do, this is where the cool stuff comes in. How do we edit this? Like if we wanna do markings on there, we wanna highlight certain things. Um, maybe we even wanna put our signature on there. Pretty cool things that we can do. So first of all, what we wanna do is if we want to rotate it, just go ahead and click this button and it'll rotate it. Boom. Neat. So there you go. You can rotate it really easy. Now, if we want to do all the editing, what we need to do is we need to click this little button right here. It's the markup tool. Now we have all these options. So first we can add text. All right. That sounds good. So we set our text. Um, what do we want to do? Font size and everything. And that'll set our text parameters and we can get to that later. This is going to be to set our fill color for anything that we draw, like squares and whatnot. Right now I have it set to no fill. This is the outline color, if we want an outline color. This one right here is the width or you can do dotted lines, or you can do like a spray paint look. I'll show you some examples later. This right here will we'll resize the photo, adjust the size. This right here will adjust color. This is a signature, we can sign things, and I'll show you how to do that. This is the text tool. This is the highlight tool, freeform. This is the instant alpha, so if we wanted to create a little logo from something, we could do that. Really neat. And then our selection tools for cropping and whatnot. Okay. So first let's go ahead and start with adjusting color. We click on this and a lot of times you might want to, you take a photo and you might want to adjust the color. Let's say you don't have Photoshop. You can come in here and you can fiddle around with the color. Add a little more levels here. If you want, exposure, you can do the exposure. Contrast, give it less or more contrast. Highlights, you can adjust the highlights. So there's a really a lot of cool different functions that you can do here. I won't go through all these, um, but just know that those are there. So the signature, this is really neat. So I have a signature right there already. To create a signature, you just hit create signature. And then it's going to bring me up. See, here I am. It's going to ask me to show white paper with a signature. And then it took it right there. Great. Hit done. Save my signature. Really, really cool. And so what I could do is I could just click on the signature like this one or this one, 
and then it puts it right on here. <laughs> Isn't that pretty neat? Awesome. So again, for the signature, you just click on that. You show a picture with your sign signature. It takes a picture of it, and then you have a signature that you can place on documents or on your picture if you want. Text tool, you just click on that, and this is gonna bring up whatever parameters you have over here. We can change the font, um, font size. There you go. Drag it around. Double click. You know, type whatever you want. Something like that. Awesome. So that's the text tool. There's a lot of different things you can do with that. I won't go over all of them. And now we have an high, the highlight tool. Let's say you wanna just highlight a specific thing on your page or on your image or your photo. Um, I'm gonna use this little rounded square. Cool. And then if we want a little wider, just come up here. Let's grab that. And then let's say I wanna highlight the URL. And then let's say I want to highlight something else. I'm gonna use a square this time and I wanna make it a little bit thinner. And I wanna make it a different color. Um, and then let's say I just wanted to highlight, oh, okay, I just wanna highlight this part. Just click on these, you can drag them. This tool, this preview tool is pretty amazing. All right, and now let's look at some of the other tools. This is the freeform draw tool. Okay, you got the little sketch here and we wanna pick our color, uh, yellow's fine. And then you can draw it, so I'm gonna put some Once you take your mouse off, it's gonna move, and you can create some more, okay? So I'm gonna put some cartoon yellow hair on my head. Pretty funny. Yeah, I know you're all laughing. <laughs> okay, and maybe a little goatee. Anyway, you get the idea. And then you can change the color, you can change the widths if we want it. Or we can change like this kind of like spray painty look. Maybe we'll do um, a green color and then. And if you see that, you can drag it. It's got like a little spray paint look. Um, let's make it a little bit bigger so you can see it a little more. See that? And after the fact, you can click on any of these after the fact that changed that one to green. So you can highlight it and I can change it back to yellow if I want. Or, and see also it changed it um, to this spray paint look. So it's very powerful and I could make it really big like that. Really, really neat. So I encourage you to jump in here and play around with things. Now, what we can do is I will save this you just go to file, save, and it saves all your changes and it rewrites your, your document. So I would encourage you to keep a copy of your original photo and then you can just go ahead and work on your copy. Okay, so pretty cool. And then this right here, now let's look at the selection tool. You can just grab the selection tool, however you wanna do it. And there's all these different tools that you can use, the lasso selection, smart lasso regular selection, and this is if you wanted to crop out just a specific part of your image. Come up here to crop, boom, there you go. Really awesome, undo that, and there you go. So pretty powerful tool. Like I said, I'm not gonna go into every single little tool, so I encourage you to go in there and play with it. I gave you some examples of different neat things that you can do. All right, there you have it. A short video on how to use Preview for the Mac. Happy photo editing. I'm Matt Taylor. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. 
I have a bunch of a variety of videos from music videos to parody videos to cryptocurrency how-to videos to a bunch of videos on uh, Deep Onion, which is my favorite cryptocurrency. Uh, something for everybody on the channel. Take care. See you next time.